So firstly, I just want to say I had the worst audience while watching The Last Witch Hunter. I found myself sitting right at the front to avoid the bag rattlers and lip smackers. I was so close, I felt like I was sat on Vin Diesel's lap. That wasn't enough to keep me awake. This is witches doing paint by numbers. Sometimes films just need to stay on the blacklist. There is a reason why they are there. Some parts work, but for most of the film it would get lost in its own ideas. It couldn't find the exit, instead bouncing off the walls of incoherent mess. The film keeps adding ideas and characters and doesn't know when to stop. Though I will admit, Joseph Gilgun sounding like a character from a Red Dead Redemption was actually a highlight of the movie. The film has clearly concentrated on the special effects and forgot all about the other elements of the film. Rose Leslie feels like the person you get if Isla Fisher isn't available and is just not ready to be a leading lady. She just didn't seem to gel well with Diesel at all. Now Vin Diesel looks the part, even if he looks like he's stolen Tom Hardy's beard, but for some reason it just feels like he shouldn't be there. He mumbles his way through the film like he does with all his other films. And when I say other films, I mean the Furious franchise. Now at the start it was exciting to see him do something different than drive cars. And in this case, he's hunting witches. And as exciting as that sounds, it soon falls flat as he possesses no personality. Which is made worse when he spends the majority of the film acting against a charismatic Michael Caine. If it wasn't for the breath of fresh air that is Caine, the movie would have been a right stinker. Just make sure you give yourself a good old spritz beforehand, else you will come out of the film smelling like rubbish too. I couldn't discuss with you one single scene because the film is instantly forgettable and it also managed to make you feel incredibly sluggish. I actually couldn't function properly after watching this film. The most frustrating part is that the film reeks of confidence for a sequel. Thanks for watching, be sure to like the video and subscribe. What is your favourite movie about witches? Just leave a comment in the box below and if you want to watch more 2015 reviews just click on the link here.